Hello, so you might notice I'm not in my usual setting today. Uh, I'm currently in Derbyshire. I'm in a holiday cottage. I'm sort of keeping my voice down because there are other people in the cottage and I feel quite self conscious. So, which is why you never see me, very rarely see me do videos in pubs and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so yeah, I'm in Derbyshire, so I'm currently in the bedroom of a holiday cottage. So, yeah, probably use the messy bed behind me. And, everything but you know i've got to make some content on my well i mean otherwise i'll i'll fit behind so <clears throat> today we've got a beer from siren so yeah i'm in derbyshire so why not review a beer from bloody berkshire <laughs> it's a can of their juice cut, which they say is an epa but it's 4.7 percent i mean siren come on you better than that it's it's not a New England IPA at 7%, it's a session IPA. Um, yeah, got this from, it was from Morrison's, I think it was like three quid. Uh, it was in a four for three deal, so even less than that. Um, Jowska is a tropical hoppy festival in a can. We've used amazing American hops to push a juicy, juicy pineapple and ripe mango flavours with zesty citrus notes. Cutting through it, drinks with a smooth, soft mouthfeel always hits a spot. Doesn't say what the hops are. But probably citra, judging by what flavours to expect. Um, so yeah, let's crack this open. Have a candle on there. Uh, the best before, yeah, candle on fifteenth of June, twenty twenty-two. So it's less than two months old, which isn't bad for a supermarket beer, is it? Is it? So you know, although it has been sat on a warm shelf. Yeah, uh, crap gas glassware as well. Um, I am off to. Do the Thornbridge Brewery tour tomorrow, which means I think you get a free glass including that, so hopefully well, I'll have a better glassware for any more reviews I do on this holiday. But, oh god, I mean, look at it. <laughs> About 72 fingers of head. Just like that. Settle down a bit. So, yeah. Sort of hazy-ish. Not a thick sort of hop soup, sort of haze, but hazy-ish. You know, you can't, the light is getting through, and um, there's lots of little bits of sediment floating around in it. At least I hope it's sediment and the <laughs> glass isn't minging off awesome from this cottage, but, um, I mean, it's probably cleaner than my glasses because we haven't got all the bloody bubbles on the side, which we normally have, have we? But yeah, so there's a little bits of sediment. Um, nice white head, though. Looks all right. Doesn't really, I wouldn't say it looks particularly like a Neep. I mean, like I said, not a Neep at 4.67, what was it? 4.7%. It definitely looks more like, like a session IPA as well. Let's go for the smell. So, yeah. Certainly getting pineapple, like I said. And mango as well. But, yeah, definitely lots of pineapple. A bit of lemon and lime. Grapefruit, melon perhaps, a bit of sort of sweetness. Yeah, so this smells solid enough. Yeah, pretty fruity. Let's dive in. Yeah, it's alright. It's Siren are certainly capable of a lot better. I do find a lot of their supermarket beers are quite hit and miss. Siren, I think certainly they do they really do a bit better when they've got a bit more, a bit more of a budget. You know, because some, some of Siren's top end stuff is just as good as anything in the UK, isn't it? But yeah. So when I say that stuff's a bit wishy washy and yeah, it's it's alright, it's refreshing, it's you know but it's kind of just like Brewdog Hazy Jane if I'm honest with you I mean I mean it's a bit of a lot of fruitiness a bit of pineapple a bit of melon a bit of sort of stone fruit and stuff but it's very sort of thin quite a little bit watery but I mean it's quite nice and refreshing 
Certainly very drinkable. But I mean, yeah, it's it, for three quid. I think you can it, you'd expect this to really be in the. Um, I mean, it was four for three actually, so it's less than three quid. So I mean, it's probably what two pound twenty five or something, but. Five, yeah. No, that may be a little bit more. Maybe three point two five. It's probably more fair. If I think about what I've given similar beers recently, so yeah, three point two five out of five. It's it's all right. It's first quenching. It's refreshing, but it's pretty. It's pretty meh, if you know. But you'll certainly get drunk. It's you know, nice little first quencher, but nothing more really. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Please drop your thoughts below. Just like, subscribe if you're not already. Get the like button below for all future videos, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.